Hello there, I'm going to be talking about Christianity, the God and the Bible. Um, yeah, this will be a, a Christian YouTube channel. I'm going to be talking about the, the Messiah. I've recently had an experience with God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, and He is real. That is the good news. There is, a, there is an everlasting, loving, all-powerful God, and He does care about you, and He does love you. And you just have to keep this in mind with this verse. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. And it is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. And always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. We've got to keep that in mind with our relationships, our relationships with our friends, families, uh, beloved, loved ones, especially uh, partners and spouses, and most importantly with God. We've got to keep in mind that the relationship has to be pure and and has to be one of genuine faith and general, genuine heart, heartfeltness. God, God has standards and we have to ultimately meet them. He is the creator of the universe. If you don't believe that there's creator for the universe, then you're bloody crazy because what created the Big Bang? The universe is like over 14, 0.6 billion years old and uh, evolution on this planet has been happening for more than 4 billion years so you're not going to just say it's a bunch of chemicals and lightning that started it first off there would have to be something that created the big bang in the first place and that would make sense that it's an all powerful being the universe is still expanding and that's a testament to the Lord God's power and then you also, then you also have to see evolution as a testament to God's power. We started out as single-celled organisms, and we eventually evolved into this complex life that is recognised by God. We have a responsibility. Um, we have dominion over the animals, and we have dominion over the earth. But I think our power can corrupt us. And that's what the story of Adam and Eve is about. It's about corruption and giving in to the temptation of the devil. I think it's symbolic of the fact that gradually over time through our, throughout our evolution, we lost the innocence of being animals and we became corrupt beings with the potential to hurt each other in mass. You can see that with the genocides and wars and the rape and torture that exists in our world. But God is good and God is kind. We are made in his image and he values our intelligence and our responsibility for this planet. He took on the form of a human. So he does elevate us above animals. But it is, but it is important to know that we're here to take care of the animals and we should be kind to them. Thank you so much for listening to this video and have a nice day.